I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endure to all generations. Welcome to another broadcast of the Word Ministries, hosted by yours truly. I am Pastor Billy Bedford. We give honor to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is our life. We thank God for all the affiliates at WOIL TV 47, located in the marble city of Sylacauga, Alabama. We thank God for all our Facebook watchers, our YouTube watchers. We thank God for at WOIL TV 47 and all the surrounding areas uh, that have tuned in to this broadcast. And we thank God for this day. We thank God for you. Thank God for you, Brother Oscar Cook over in Talladega, Cindy Ann Swain, the Hale family in Sylacauga, the Sister Shirley Jones. We are grateful to you for tuning into this broadcast. And many of you that watch every Sunday, and when, and I want to let you know you're greatly appreciated. And I thank God, amen, for you. And I thank God for each of you that tune in to the broadcast on every Sunday afternoon or Sunday morning or whenever, amen, you have the opportunity, amen, we want to just come before you. My desire, amen, is to see, amen, mankind come to know Jesus and come to have a relationship with him. With that being said, if you don't know him or have not accepted him as Lord and Savior of your life, amen, I want to give an invitation to Christ. Jesus, amen, desired that all mankind be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. His purpose was coming into this world, was not for fame, not for fortune. His purpose was coming into this world. The Bible says that Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. Paul said, of whom I am chief. Amen. We may not be chief of sinners or feel like we're not, but amen. But I want to let you know that David said, amen, that amen, he was born in sin and shapen in iniquity. From his mother's womb, he was shapen in iniquity and born in sin. So every mankind that have come into this world, amen from Adam, amen, we come from Adam, and the Bible says by one man's disobedience, and that was the disobedience of Adam, shall many be made sinners. You may be a good person, you may be highly thought of, praise the name of God, but you came into this world a sinner, and Jesus Christ came into this world to save sinners, amen, and if you have not accepted him and allowed him Amen. To come into your heart, to come into your life, to fill you with his spirit. Amen. You may very well still be a sinner. But I encourage you to seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. If you seek him and if you call him, he will abundantly pardon you. Even me, even you. They that come to him, he said he will in no wise, in no case, cast you out. If you confess him, he will confess you. If you deny him, amen, before mankind, he will deny you before his father. If you be ashamed of him before mankind, then he will be ashamed of you before the father. We don't need to be ashamed. We don't need to, do, to, to deny him. We need to accept him. Amen. As Lord and Savior of our lives. He didn't come for a, a denomination. He come for souls. And you have a soul that is loved by God. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. 
God did not send him to condemn any of us. God sent his son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. If we're going to go from a sinner, amen, to our heavenly throne, it's going to go through Jesus Christ. Jesus said in John 9 that I am the door of the sheep, and by me, if anyone enter, they shall be saved. Told Thomas, <laughs> Thomas that I am the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one comes to the Father but by me. <clears throat> Acts 4.12, he says, neither is there salvation in any other. For there's none other, none, none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Amen. If we come to Jesus, if you're not saved, if you come to Jesus right where you are right now, he'll save you. He'll save you. Ask him to come into your life. Ask him to fill you with his spirit, and he'll do just that. He'll do just that. He has no respect to persons. And he'll love you. He'll save you. Come to him while the blood is yet running warm in your veins. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Just now, just now, come to Jesus, come to Jesus, just now, he will save you, he will save you, he will save you. Just now, just now, he will save you, he will save you, just now, only trust him, only trust him, will you trust him today, only trust him, just now, he will abundantly pardon you. Just now, only trust him, only trust him. Just now, don't you doubt him, don't you doubt him. Don't doubt it, don't you doubt him. Just now, just now, don't you doubt him, don't you doubt him, just now. If you come, if you if you're coming to him right now, why don't you call that number? Let us pray with you. Let us rejoice with you. Amen. Come to Jesus. Call that number that is under the bottom of your screen. Let us pray with you. Let us rejoice with you. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Just now. Thank you. Just now. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Just now, to the gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 14, beginning at verse number 7. To the gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 14, beginning at verse number 7, you will find these words recorded. And he put forth a parable, a parable to those which were bidden, when he marked how they chose out the chief rooms saying unto them, When thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest room, lest a more honorable man than thou be bidden of him. 
And he that bade thee and him come and say to thee, Give this man place, and thou begin with shame to take the lowest room. But when thou art bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room, that when he that bade thee come up, he may say unto thee, Friend, go up higher. Then shalt thou have worship in the presence of them that sit at meat with thee. For whosoever exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Then said he also to him that bade him, When thou makest a dinner or a supper, call not thy friends, nor thy brethren, neither thy kinsmen, nor thy rich neighbors, lest they also bid thee again, and a recompense be made thee. But when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and thou shalt be blessed, for they cannot recompense thee, for thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. We're going to take our context subject from verse 13 and verse 14. But when thou makest a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and thou shalt be blessed, for they cannot recompense thee, for thou shalt be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. We want to talk to you from this subject. When we do it God's way, we would get our pay. Amen. We as people, as human beings, amen, want our pay. Even those that make millions of dollars, Amen. And, 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 and don't lack for nothing for the rest of their life. If they don't make another dime, they still want their pay. Whether you get paid on the 1st, the 3rd, or the 15th, or every Friday or every Thursday, amen. I'm looking in the eyes of someone today that you don't go to your job and at the end of the week say, you don't owe me nothing. Amen. But we want our pay. Amen. That's on the natural side of life. <clears throat> on the spiritual side of life, we want our pay. Amen. Maybe on the natural side of life, you don't feel like you're getting your just pay. Maybe on your job, you feel you're worth more than what they give you. But I stopped by WOIL TV 47, located in the marble city of Sylacauga, Alabama, to tell somebody that when you do it God's way, you will get your pay. He is a just pay master. He's going to pay every man, every woman, every child, according as his work shall be. We, we, it behooves us to do it God's way. Why is that, brother, preacher? Because I say, said, amen, you can't do it the way we think it ought to be done or the way we, the way we ought to do it, the way we think it ought to be done. Isaiah said, your way. It's not God's way, neither our thoughts, his thoughts. But when we do it God's way, we will get our pay. No matter how educated you are or how many PhDs you got, amen, uh, you can't do it your way. The Bible says that is a way. Amen. Even though it seems like with your education, with your PhDs, amen, that you know what to do. Seem like it. But the Bible says in Proverbs 14, 12, that there is a way that seems right to a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. It has to be done 
God's way to be the right way. Amen. And when we do it God's way, we will get our pay. Frank Sinatra made a lot of money off of a song entitled, I Did It My Way. Amen. You and I, amen, did it our way and didn't make a dime. Praise the name of God. But when we do it God's way, amen, we and Frank Sinatra all together would get our pay. Amen, because God's way is always the right way. Not only is it the right way, God's way is the only way. Jesus, amen, said, I am the door of the sheep. I'm the way. I'm the pathway. I'm the door of the sheep. I'm the access way. And by me, if anyone enter, he shall be saved. He said to Thomas that I am the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one comes to the Father but by me. Do it God's way, and you will get your pain. Amen. If you're going to go, amen, into the kingdom of God, now, you got to do it God's way. Amen. The Bible says, amen, neither is there salvation in any other. <coughs> but there is none other name under heaven now, given among mankind whereby we must be saved. Now, Nicodemus had to do it God's way. Now, Nicodemus, amen, said no one can do the miracles that you do except God be with him. But Jesus let him know that you got to do it God's way. Amen. Nicodemus said, amen, after telling him you must be born again. Now, Nicodemus, amen, looked at it another way and said, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time in his mother's womb and be born? Now, but Jesus let him know, no, you got to do it God's way. Now, amen. To get your pay. Huh? Except the man be born of water and of the spirit. Now, he shall not enter the kingdom of God. Huh? That which is born of the flesh is flesh. Huh? That which is born of the spirit is spirit. Now, do it God's way. Huh? And you will get your pay. Huh? The Pharisees and the Sadducees huh? didn't want to do it God's way. Uh, we got to be careful. Uh, the Bible says be. Uh, uh, hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, good God Almighty. Uh, except our righteousness uh, shall exceed that uh, of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Uh, we shall in no wise enter the kingdom of God. Uh, God's way, uh, you get your pain. Uh, you must understand. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, no matter how righteous we may think we are, uh, amen. Uh, it's got to be God's way uh, to get your pain uh, for our righteousness huh, or as filthy rags. Huh, God's way, huh, you'll get your pay. Huh, hallelujah. Huh, God's way huh, is love. Huh, Paul said it like this. Huh, Though I speak with tongues huh, of angels huh, and of men huh, and don't have love, huh, I'm like a tinkling cymbal huh, or a sounding breath. Huh, yeah, huh, do I have faith uh, to move mountains uh, and don't have love. Uh, I'm nothing. Uh, yeah, uh, though I give my body uh, to be burned, uh, if I give all my belongings uh, to the poor uh, and don't have love, uh, I am nothing. Uh, God's way uh, is love. Uh, how can a man uh, say they love God uh, whom they not seen uh, and hate their brother uh, whom they see daily? Uh, it's got to be uh, God's way. Uh, not only love God, uh, but love him uh, with all your heart, uh, with all your 
your mind, uh, with all your soul, uh, and with all your strength, uh, uh, and that you're still not done, uh, to do it God's way uh, and get your pay. Uh, you got to love your neighbor uh, as yourself. Uh, God's way, uh, you'll get your pay. Uh, God's way uh, is that we uh, love. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, Moses said, uh, an eye for an eye uh, and a tooth for a tooth. Uh, in other words, uh, you kill my cat, uh, I'll kill your dog. Uh, but that's not God's way. Uh, God's way uh, is to love uh, your enemies. Uh, pray for them uh, with this spitefully. Uh, use you. Uh, bless them uh, that curse you. Uh, love them uh, that hate you. Uh, if they compel you uh, to go uh, one mile, uh, go to uh, Hallelujah. Uh, if they slap you uh, on one cheek, uh, turn the other one. Uh, yeah. Uh, if they take your coat, uh, give you your cloak also. Uh, God's way, uh, you'll get your pay. Uh, God's way uh, is that uh, we have uh, no respect the persons. Uh, God's way, uh, yeah, uh, hallelujah, uh, is that we deny uh, ourselves. Uh, take up his cross um, uh, and follow him. Uh, God's way way, uh, yeah, is that we seek uh, ye firm uh, the kingdom of God uh, and his righteousness. Uh, all of these things uh, shall be added uh, unto you. Uh, in this lesson today, uh, Jesus is putting forth a parable. What is a parable? Parable is an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. Amen. In this story, Jesus gave this parable for a reason. It was a purpose behind it. What was the purpose? In the context of this lesson, he put forth this parable because he had, had, he had observed, he had marked how they chose out the chief rooms. You know how it is. Sometimes people want the big shots, what they seem important, amen, glamorous. But God came meek and lowly, hallelujah, born in a stable, lonely manger, rode on a donkey. When he saw that they chose out the chief rooms, he said to them, when you're bidding of any man to a wedding, don't sit in the highest room. Don't look all the ways for the chief rooms. God wants us to be humble. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Don't sit to the highest room. Lest a more honorable man than thou be bidden of him. Hallelujah. And the one that bade you Amen. And him come and say to thee, give this man place. And thou begin with shame to take the lowest room. See, if you take the lowest room from the get-go, Proverbs, amen, says, amen, it's better to take, don't, don't sit in the king's place. Grandmama says, it's better to be asked up <coughs> than to be asked down. When thou art bidden, go and sit in the lowest room, that when he bade thee come, he may say unto thee, Friend, come up higher. Then, 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 then shalt thou have worship in the presence of them that sit at meat with thee. That's what I want to hear our Savior say to us. That's why we need to do it God's way. I want to hear him say, Well done. Thou good and faithful servant. Come on up a little higher. Whosoever exalted himself, Lucifer, shall be abased. 
man that fared sumptuously every day, he that exalts himself, the one that had many bonds, said, I'm going to take my ease, eat, drink, and be merry. He that exalts himself, Nebuchadnezzar, demanding people to bow down and worship him. Hallelujah, Pharaoh. He that exalts himself shall be abased. He that humbleth himself. Jesus. Jesus humbled himself and became obedient unto death. He that humbled himself. Jesus humbled himself and became obedient unto death. Even the death of the cross. Hallelujah. He thought it not robbery to be equal with God. He took upon the form of a servant, being found in fashion as a man. Three and a half years of ministry, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death. Fed those that were hungry, healed those that were sick, loved those that needed to be loved. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God has highly exalted him. Jesus Christ is our supreme example of doing it God's way and we'll get our pay. Trying, yes it is. Burdening sometimes, yes it is. But you'll get your pay. God has highly exalted him, given him a name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. When you make a feast, he said, call the poor, call the main, call the blind. Hallelujah. Do it God's way. You will get your pay. Not the one that's going to pay you back. God said, I'm going to pay you at the resurrection of the just. God bless you. God keep you is my prayer.